I thought we had to worry about the shippings and how they could survive. Now we're worrying about the boys fighting each other and them not trying to die. What is up you guys, my name is Cell Byzantine, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about My Dear Cold-Blooded King. So if you guys have not read the latest chapters, I'll leave a link in the description down below, but as for now, let's get into it. Look, I know I'm skipping a bunch of chapters, and I apologize because moving is a mess. But oh my god, this chapter was so intense. I was literally going to break my normal schedule to record this, and I'm in distraught. I'm not okay. It's like the creator took me by the neck and threw me to China. I'm not okay. <sighs> so in this chapter, Mei and Katsu are arguing, and Ryusaki walks into that. But he's really looking for Katsu to let him know that General Shibisaki has made arrangements for the countermeasures against the dreamy, the wonderful, the murderous Kazuke. Yeah, um, Katsu leaves with Ryusaki, and now we're being shown them heading where they need to be. And this is where stuff starts happening. You know, a shipping crashes, and these two start fighting. <sighs> so Ryusaki is wondering what was happening between Katsu and Mei, and why they were arguing. And you know, Katsu's saying, you know, he's just trying to protect Mei or whatever from Kazuke. Now, Ryusaki knows because he also got a letter and he's trying to now poke at Katsu. <laughs> this, is, this is where World War III begins. <laughs> now, they're starting to argue about the importance of Mei and the threat Kazuke poses. Ryusaki wants to keep her training and prove his good bait. And Katsu wants her to be taken out because he doesn't want anything happening to her because he doesn't want her to be bait oh and now they're arguing over authority and ryusaki is saying she will be engaged to him oh. um and be part of the plan to kill kazuke so yeah they're still arguing until katsu says something about shirori that sets ryusaki off oh and then he throws a punch towards katsu Yep, World War Three. here we go. <laughs> Ryusaki tells him not to mention that name. Katsu saying, you provoke me all the time, so what's up? Right? And then Ryusaki, this dumb bitch, says, May is just a minor concern. Let, let me read that again, but let me clap. Let me clap this time. She is a minor concern to him. Okay, there you go. And he only needs to know if she's alive or dead. Beyond that, she's nothing to him. Beyond that, she's nothing to him. Okay, okay. Cause I mean, I don't know if you heard that also. I, didn't, I don't know if you heard that little thing back there, but that was like a ship crashing. I know a thousand people probably died, a thousand fans. Rest in peace, that shipping. Rest in peace. Ambassador May is still superior. What's up? Let me, let me, let me be serious. Okay. <laughs> okay. But Katsu basically questions that statement. After all, his flirts and what he does to her, I wouldn't find that shocking. So, yeah. And Ryusaki is basically telling him to stop assuming because he doesn't know him that well. And he's telling Katsu to not get too deep into feelings with her, not to really be in love with her because he doesn't want him to be distracted from his actual goal. And Katsu says, I don't, but you can? And that's where, that's where round two begins. He tells him he's the only one distracted from really anything. And Ryusaki says once again that his bra bra br bread, bread, yep, that's what we're doing. His bride is Mei. And Katsu gets the strength of the ambassador's love for Mei and <laughs> throws him against the wall. Oh my god. And tells him, You know my power, so why are you mocking me? And they're still arguing about the main focus and importance of her and who should be in love or not. And it's just crazy, right? It's just crazy. He lets go of him and Ryusaki's just saying he's not invested in her at all. He's not in love at all. He's just trying to get the mission done. It... <sighs> oh my God. 
I feel bad for the shipping now. Like, I want to make jokes at it, but, like, I just feel bad now. I'm sorry. So, after all that mess, we're going back to Mei, and she's just trying to get the ink off that Kazuke put. And, obviously, it's not going to come off because, you know, he's well prepared. Duh. And she's just really trying to pull herself together because this is just so much for her. And, you know, he's mentioning Daichi and... <sighs> I just, I just feel bad for a lot of people today. I just feel bad for a lot of people, okay? And she, she, she's walking. She's walking, yeah? She finds another note from Kazuke, and this note is actually talking about Daisuke, her alleged dead brother, and she's just stunned and just drops the note, and that's where it ends. Woo! That's a lot. <laughs> creator really outdone themselves this chapter woo so obviously Mei and Ryusaki are not gonna be a thing so she's obviously a ploy for that mission to kill Kazuke you know I mean I don't understand the flirts but you know he's flirted with everybody so you know can't question that whatever 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 I'm just confused and scared still I'm, I'm still confused and still kind of scared rip yeah, what do you guys think of this chapter? Because this was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and share this and subscribe if you're new. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot. I'm still kind of shook. I'm still kind of shook. I'm just going to talk about one chapter for this video because schedule's a mess. So I hope you enjoyed this little one. And this was really long too. So yeah. Enjoy. And I'll see you guys out. Peace. Okay.